Hi there, Bruce the Water Guy here. Today we're taking part of the plant down for some maintenance. Uh, we have some work that needs to be done and it has to be out of service. So we've been pumping down this tank that I'm standing on. This is called a clarifier. This is a bit of an older design called a rim feed, rim discharge. It doesn't work that great and it doesn't have a lot of detention time, but it is still in service for us. So we're gonna maintain it the best that we can. So why don't we take a little bit closer look at how this system works. This is on a trickling filter system. So the water goes through the trickling filters, goes under through some pipes underground in our tunnel, and it comes here to the influent channel of this clarifier, which goes around the outer circumference of the entire clarifier. And you can see there are some orifices spaced all the way around for the water to come in to the clarifier, which would then go down uh, there's a baffle wall there or a skirt that forces the water down to the bottom to create a current to go towards the middle of the clarifier and then circle back on the surface towards the outside edge creating the detention time which should allow the solids to settle down to the bottom which this sweep mechanism which we call a rake will go around very slowly pulling the sludge or settled solids down to the bottom middle of the tank where this sump would pull it through a uh, sludge pump and send that back to the primary settling tanks where we would pump that sludge out to the digester system. Any floatable solids or scum that comes to the top should be caught by this sweep arm here, which would then sweep it to this mechanism called a scum beach pulling the scum up onto the top into a box and again going into another tank that would be pumped back up to the primary tanks to have the scum removed there. This very inner green ring here is a scum baffle to prevent those floatable solids from exiting the system. Then here are the weir teeth uh, for the effluent or clear water to come out into the stainless steel channel uh, or the effluent trough, which then again goes around the entire circumference of the clarifier, collecting down uh, together here where it will exit the system and go on to the next step of the process. This is an older design. Uh, newer designs would actually have pressure relief uh, on the bottom, you would see a little disc. So if there was any groundwater hydraulic pressure, that would uh, pop open and allow that water to come in as to not float the tank or cause damage to the concrete structure. Because this is a wastewater treatment system and this is an intermediate step in the process, we have some macroorganisms or filter flies that love to grow on here. Uh, Psycho today, this is the larva. I don't know if you can see that, millions of red little worms that we've washed off the walls and accumulated here as that whole uh, bunch and mass of stuff down there is just squirming and moving. Now that is nasty. This is the pump that we use to remove the settled solids or sludge out of the clarifier. It is a positive displacement pump. Uh, it is called a rotary load pump. It has two lobes uh, that spin together to create a progressive cavity uh, that will create the suction, sucking the sludge out of the bottom of that tank through the sump and uh, discharging it up through the piping system, sending it to the primary settling tanks where the sludge will then be removed and sent over to the digester system uh, where energy will be recouped. And this is the pump that we use to remove the scum out of the clarifier that the sweep arms skimmed up the scum beach, collected into a tank. Uh, then this pump, which is a diaphragm pump, double diaphragm, uh, is able to create enough suction because these are very thick, hard to move solids and remove them from that tank, pumping them to the primary tanks to be removed at a later time. I hope you enjoyed taking a closer look at this empty clarifier as we have it down for maintenance and the rare opportunity we have to take a closer look at it. I hope you have a better understanding of how the process works in a clarifier now. Uh, and thanks for the hat rider. This is Bruce the Water Guy. Have a nice day.